Hello friends, we'll be discussing one illustration which is related to accommodation of wealth. Now, as you know that when we have understood the situation of accommodation of wealth, whereby if the bills of exchange is used for raising finance then in such a situation we have to go through the conditions and the procedure of accommodation of bill so to understand that thing better let's go ahead with an illustration that will be mentioned down here for your reference let's go ahead with it and then figure out how to solve the problem which is related to accommodation of bill so you have mentioned the illustration here for your reference let's go through this illustration and understand what exactly has been mentioned and how the chain of illustration or rather the chain of transaction follows through this illustration Let's read the first line of it. So on 1st of July, George drew a bill of 180,000 on Harry for three months period on the basis of agreed mutual accommodation. I'll be mentioning each and every phase of this specific illustration with different marker pens or different sketch pens so that you can understand that this belongs to the first phase and then followed by it so that you can phase out or you can actually make a note of how the timeline is going through so we'll prepare the timeline as well but right now we'll just mention these things right here so from 1st of july this was the situation here harry accepted the same thing that has been mentioned in the question let's go on to the second thing what happened after that the same day that means 1st of july 2016 george had purchased certain goods from jack for an amount of 181000 when what he did is that whatever acceptance he received from harry he moved it to jack in phase of full settlement that means whatever amount was supposed to be paid that is 181000 instead of that he gave the acceptance that he received from harry for 180000 for 3 months period and he endorsed that bill of exchange to jack in full settlement that is the second phase on 1st of september jack purchased goods worth rupees 190000 from harry that has been mentioned now what jack did is that Jack had received certain bills of exchange amounting 180,000 from George. He forwarded that same bill of exchange to Harry and paid additional 9,000 in full settlement. That means instead of 190,000, he gave him 189,000 in full settlement. That is phase three. Now let's go on phase four. Now on 1st of October, Harry purchased certain goods from George. Now the game again turns towards George. Harry has purchased certain goods from George worth rupees 2 lakh he paid the balance due in check we have to pass the journal entries for George and Harry now so this is what we have to do so what we'll be doing right now is that we'll be going ahead and preparing the journal entries for the first thing or other first person that is George and then after that Harry let's go ahead and prepare it so we are first passing the entries in the books of Harry now Harry is the drawer here hence we'll be thinking it from the perspective of a buyer so as per the question the first one that means the bill was drawn on harry and harry accepted it so we have to pass that entry first now whatever things harry has done in that question has to be taken into consideration or wherever harry is remotely even mentioned in that connection to that question will be taken into consideration the next entry is the sales that he made to jack for 190000 so let's pass that entry first now when the sale was made, Jack gave him a bill of exchange for 180,000 and paid 9,000 in cash. Rest 1,000 was complete discount. So we have to mention that thing here. So let's mention that part now. So in this question, if you see, Jack was due for 190,000 and this 190,000 bifurcation can be given as follows. 1,000 for the discount, 9,000 as the cash that he paid up and the balance is the bills receivable that means the bill that has been going through in the whole question now as you know when this thing happened that means that is the same bill that harry accepted and sent it to george and he is receiving it so that means he is getting the same bill cancelled here because this is a new acceptance that we'll have to get through so in this case when you understand that harry had himself accepted the bill for mutual accommodation and he is receiving it back that means whatever is accepted is being coming back to him so that means there is a cancellation that he has to done or rather he has to do so whatever bills payable was there will be there and whatever bills receivable will be there will be cancelled here so how is it that going to happen is something that we'll understand right now
so to cancel this bills payable was credited earlier that will be closed now that means it will be on the debit side and bills receivable will be on the credit side now this entry has been passed specifically to mention that own acceptance has to be cancelled whatever own acceptance that we had in the previous illustration or rather when we talk about the previous few entries the first entry rather so that has to be cancelled hence this is done because whatever he accepted came back to him so whatever bills payable he was supposed to do has been moved or transferred as bills receivable and hence that is the reason it has to be cancelled here so that's the reason this entry has been passed let's go on to the next entry now now the next entry refers to the purchase that he made from george for worth rupees 2 lakh so this entry has to be passed purchase account debit because debit all expense and losses and george account here george will be termed as what kind of account do you know personal account that's correct so when we talk about personal account debit the receiver credit the giver giver is george hence george has been credited here with amount of 2 lakhs now the balance that was left will be paid off the balance that has to be paid off here is only 20,000 because 180,000 is something that he has already given as a mutual acceptance and he has purchased goods worth rupees 2 lakh. So what is the balance that is 20,000 has to be paid off by check. So that's what will be paying off to George. So George account to bank account 20,000 will be the next entry here and that will mark the closure of Harry's book account now. Let's go ahead and figure that thing. So this is what happens when you make sure that all these entries are passed in the correct format. Especially when you have to talk about the entries that you have to pass in the books of Harry, in the books of George or when such kind of accommodation goes on like the bill is getting transferred from one person to another and then it is coming roundabout and then it is heading towards you itself. So you have to cancel that thing then you have to pay up the balance only on the balance amount has to be paid. So the similar kind of entries will be seen in the books of George now. So let's prepare that account first. Now in the books of George, we will pass the entries which are remotely and completely related to George itself. So the first entry is the bill that he received as an acceptance from Harry is the first entry that will pass. On the same day we had George purchasing certain goods from Jack. Now whenever this payment was supposed to be done, what did George do? George gave out the whole settlement in terms of the bills of exchange that he received from Harry on the same day itself. So we'll pass that entry now. Now the payment that was made to Jack by George was in this form. So Jack received the amount for 181,000 but he gave a debit of 1,000. A discount or a rebate of 1,000 was provided here and this is how it was given. Let's pass the next entry which is related to George. On 1st of October, he did certain sales to Harry for an amount of 2 lakhs. So the entry was Harry account debit to sales account and after this, they received a payment by check and which is only for the balance of 20,000, the reason I explained earlier. Let's pass that entry now. This is the last entry that we had to pass whenever such an illustration or such a sum has to be solved. So I hope this video gave you a clarity about how to go ahead with solving such accommodation of bill problems and when few or rather more than two parties are involved in such a transaction however the journal entries was just related to two parties of this transaction but if you can see the question had like a bill of exchange which is getting revolved around too many people so this is known as accommodation of bill where finance has been raised and the other requirements has also been met thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and keep subscribing to ikeda